state television company Westerner Minya represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the Konifa Euro 2021 group draw took place. Awan Armenia from Mush sent his son to Armenian army. 52,700 people returned to Artsakh. 1,474 hectares were cleared of unexploded ordnance. Annual commemoration event for Misak Manushyan and his comrades in arms in Paris. U.S. intensifying plans to move military assets to Greece. Armenian students to live army life for 12 days. Venkat having behavioral disorder as a result of the epidemic. The draw of CONIFA 2021 European Championship took place on Saturday, February 20. The rivals of the national football team of Western Armenia will be Chemeria and Pedenia in Group D. The Artsakh football team will compete with South Ossetia with Cornwall teams. Nice, Northern Cyprus and Sardinia will compete in Group A. Ebrezia and Sabmi Sekeyan will compete in Group B. The CONIFA 2021 European Championship will be held in Nice, France from June 9 to 19. We wish good luck to our teams. Western Armenia TV presents the article of Sputnik Armenia. The Artsakh War of 2020 was a struggle to preserve the identity not only of the Armenians of Artsakh and Armenia, but also of our compatriots living in Western Armenia. In the days of the war, they waited no less eagerly for the news coming from the battlefield. Armen Vartanyan, an Armenian resident of the Turkish city of Mush, living among Turks and Kurds, gave his children Armenian names, Haik Gevork. Today, Gevork lives in the Republic of Armenia. He knows very well why he has that name. My father named me after the Armenian Fida in Gevork Chavush. He loves Chavush very much. He always wanted me to be like him, says Armen son Gevork during our conversation. I'm getting in touch with Armen, who lives in Western Armenia. He speaks about his son living in Armenia with special enthusiasm. When my son was born, I had a dream of naming my son Gevork Chavush. That's what I called him Gevork. Now he lives in Armenia. He became an Armenian soldier, thank God. I brought him up because every Armenian wants his son to be a brave Armenian like Chavush. The full article is available on our website and Sputnik Armenia website. As our members reports, referring to the Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation, the Russian peacekeepers are monitoring the situation in 27 observation posts around the clock and controlling the observance of the ceasefire regime. The ceasefire regime is maintained along the entire line of contact, the statement said. Russian peacekeepers ensure the safe return of civilians to their places of permanent residence and the restoration of civilian infrastructure and provide humanitarian assistance to the population. A total of 52,700 people have returned to their former places of residence in Artsakh since November 14, 2020. The groups of engineers deminers of the Humanitarian Demining Center continue works in the territory of Artsakh. In total, 1,474 hectares of land 457 kilometers of road, 1,440 buildings, including 30 socially significant objects, have been cleared of unexploded ordnance. 24,870 explosives have been found and neutralized since November 23, 2020. On February 21, the Embassy of the Republic of Armenia in France took part in the annual commemoration of Misak Manushyan, a prominent member of the Armenian resistance movement during the Second World War and his comrades in arms which traditionally takes place on Manushyan Street in the 20th arrondissement of Paris. The huge mural of Manushyan and members of his group are placed on the plaques immortalizing their heroism. The RA Embassy in France reports, Manushyan's freedom-loving, self-sacrificing spirit is nourished by the just struggle of the Armenian people, and today he still stands next to our immortal boys in the homeland. Eternal glory and bow to the heroism of our heroes, to their love for the homeland, the embassy said in a statement. Misak Manushyan, a survivor of the genocide against the Armenians, was born on September 1, 1906, in the town of Hosn Mansur in western Armenia. Misak Manushyan is a French national hero. He was executed with his comrades in arms by the Nazis on February 21, 1944. The U.S. proposes to include the provision of the deployment of American troops in several dozen military facilities in the country in the new defense agreement with Greece. Instead of updating the agreement every five years, Riyadh Ru writes referring to Greek newspapers, noting that it will be the second renewed agreement on mutual defense cooperation within three years. The agreement includes the expansion of the U.S. base, the provision of infrastructure to the United States at the basis of Stefanovicio, Larry and Alexandropol, as well as the possibility of using any military facility in its territory in agreement with Greece. 
Weakening Parliament in October 2020, Greek Foreign Minister Nikos Tendias announced that Greece intends to expand its defense agreement with the United States or sign a new one. Sputnik Armenia The Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of Armenia has developed a project according to which 11 foreign students of schools must now go to a military training camp within the framework of preliminary military training. The draft was submitted for public discussion on the joint website for publishing draft legal acts, edraft.am. It suggests that students should spend 12 days in a military training camp, undergoing regular military training, learning firefighting and uniform regulations, as well as getting acquainted with first aid, communication and telecommunication skills. The purpose of holding such camps, as stated in the justification of the project, is to develop an interest in the military profession and the ability to withstand emergencies and act effectively. The full article is available on our website and Sputnik Armenia website. Director of the Venket Research and Applied Center of Western Armenia, Professor Dr. Abdullah Kanya, stated that the COVID epidemic affects animals as much as humans. Emphasizing that cat owners should not forget that animals also have emotions, the professor said, people refused to pet their cats at the beginning of the epidemic. Therefore, we believe that there may be certain behavioral disorders. Cat owners need to know that their pets have feelings. They need to take better care of them at times like this. The Venket Villa, which was closed to visitors for some time due to the epidemic, was opened after the necessary preventive measures were taken to prevent the psychology of the Venkets from being damaged. Now we present you Hoinar by Sasuna Assemble. <laughs> The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.